this is Aldino Prime here with the first review on my channel. And then today, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Transformers Bumblebee Deluxe Class Bumblebee from the new Studio Series line, number 18. And he is a Volkswagen Beetle. As you can see, there's the front, the side, the back. Another carriage. And here is the packaging that a Bumblebee comes in. You see the Bumblebee uh, Transformer logos. You see the Mega Toy product shots. And he comes with the background, like all Studio Series figures do. And that's it for the packaging. And it's fun. I really like this mode. It really is a good car mode. I really like it. It's a good vehicle mode for Bumblebee. I like it. I like what they're doing with this film. They're going back to G1. It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good design wise. Pretty good. He, he does come with his weapons, accessories. He comes with his. Blade or stinger blade, or whatever you call it, his blaster, and his new battle mask. Uh, this camera focus. And for robot, I mean, look for storage in vehicle mode. There's this little tab right here. You're gonna slide the battle mask into. And then this tab right here, you're going to slide the blaster into. And then you're going to take, you're going to take these, there's two tabs on the back of this, and they go on here. Doesn't matter which one you put it on. And he rolls. And that's Bumblebee and his vehicle mode. It is a really good vehicle mode. I suggest it's a really good vehicle mode. It's a 67 yellow bug. Yeah, it's a 67 bug. But a lot of people I'm hearing about this. This 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 figure is way too small. It's smaller than the original Studio Series Bumblebee. But it's not it's not it's smaller than it but it's not as smaller than it it's a little bit smaller but this figure is really tiny compared to other studio series figures we've gotten in the past in the past but otherwise it's a pretty good figure and then some things and then another complaint is a, no, a couple things don't tab in well you kinda gotta force things to go in with this figure Otherwise, it's a great design choice. Great design choice for Bumblebee. I really enjoy this design choice that they came up with. Let's get down to the transformation, shall we? First thing you want to do is you want to take the back, this back bumper, open the doors like this, lift this whole roof piece up, take the front wheels, move them out, take the hand, take his hand. Move those out. Take these. Take this. Slide it down. Tab it in. And then angle these. Like you have to angle these. They kind of move like that for robot. Robot and um vehicle mode. And then do the whole waist ticket. Twist it around. There you go. And then there's these little tab, this little sliding peg. You have to slide over when transforming him from car to robot. And we will look at that when we transform him back into his car mode later on in the video. Slide that over. There you go. And now you want to work on the backpack. Take this, slide it up. Now let's move this arm, and there is a tiny tab 
right here. You have to force this tab to get under. You almost feel like you're going to break something, but you're not. You have to force it under there to get it to tab in. And then you take this this piece right here, fold it down, take this piece, fold it over, do the same on the second side. And there you have Bumblebee, all transformed into his robot mode. And I really like this robot mode, it's really good. It's a really good design by Hasbro and Takara. It's a really good design. Let's get in closely on that face. You can see typical Bumblebee face if my camera will focus. Yeah, typical Bumblebee face. You got a little red Autobot logo up there. There you go. Yeah, but otherwise, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. And for comparison, we're going to bring in the original Studio Series Bumblebee when he was a 1977 Camaro. And you can see there is a little bit size difference between the new one, the new one as he's a Beetle, and the original as he's a Camaro. And for comparisons, we are also going to bring in the new Dark of the Moon Wave 3 Ratchet. And you can see there is a big size difference between this guy and Ratchet. And watch out, there's a review coming up for that soon. I figure. And for his accessories, you can take his blade, plug it onto these two tabs on the arm, and then like the original Studio Series Bumblebee, the arm cannon, this one's a lot tighter. The, the way you remove the arm is a lot tighter on this one than on the original. You do it like the same. Yada yada. And then for his battle mask, you take the face. There is a tiny tab right here that you're going to tab into the his face like that and there you have Bumblebee all weaponized up ready to take down the Septicons and I really like this battle mode I like the new battle mask I like the blade I really like the stinger blade on him and for storage for his arm and his mask there is a little tab on the fin back here a tab right here you can store the face on there And then for his arm, there are tabs on the back of the window, back of the window, like that. And you take the first, you take the first tab, plug it on there. Doesn't matter which one. And the weapon storage is in robot mode. It's it's all right. It's all right. At least they gave you weapon storage though. At least they give you weapon storage. And he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. And so, he's small, we've all said that. Pretty good. Pretty good figure. I don't like the weapon storage in robot mode as much as the vehicle mode, because then you don't really see it in vehicle mode. Like, past Transformers figures where you can see the weapons, and you can see them in the back. It beats the whole point of robots in disguise. But... You know, overall around, this is a good figure. Just for those minor complaints, it's a pretty good figure. I really like it. I really like it. There's not much back kibble. There's not a big backpack like we've seen in the past with other Transformers. There's not a lot of that. And let's get back to transformation to his Volkswagen mode. First thing you want to do is you want to take the arm cannon and put his regular arm back on. And then you want to take off the blade. And you want to put his regular face on like this. And then you want to take these out. Pull these like that. Pull these. Pull these like that. Pull these up. Take the arms. Pull them out like that. And then what you want to do is you want to untab these parts right here, pull them out. Oh wait, 
Gotta do the backpack first. This is a tough part. Tabbed in pretty good. Ah, there we go. That now you want to take these. Now you want to take these parts. Pull them up. And then, like I said before, there's a little sliding th rail right here. You want to slide that over away from the silver metal part. And it will help you line things up a lot better when going into vehicle mode. And this leg just came off. Just came off. Take these legs. Round and like that. Take the wheels Do it like that. Oh, take them like that. Take this whole front section. You want to fold it down like that. Take the arms, fix those. And now you, what you want to do for the legs, you want to get them angled in position right. And there is a tab in here that these are going to slide into. There's a tab right, right here that these are going to go up. Get into that. Like that. Take the side doors. You kind of got to force everything together because parts do pop off this. When you are transforming him from robot to vehicle mode, parts do tend to pop pop out of their place. Now, but doors don't stay in. Kind of got a forced odd thing. On. I think it doesn't work. And there we go. We got Bumblebee back into his car mode. And that was my review on the Transformers Studio Series number 18, Transformers Bumblebee. Deluxe class Bumblebee. You can get this guy. I found him at Walmart. You can get him at like Target. Any store that has Transformers, you can probably get him. Or Studio Series, you can get this guy there. So if you want to check him out, go get him. He's a pretty good figure. I suggest him. But anyway, guys, this is my first review on the channel. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this. And more reviews coming soon. I will be doing a, re a review. On the Dark in the Moon Studio Series Ratchet soon. But anyways, I'm Aldino Prime, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.